Hello again everybody and welcome back to Fujits Blitz. Now today this is another one of those map videos and this time we're going to look at New Bay. Now New Bay is an interesting map, quite a lot of people don't like it and I'll be honest with you, at first I was one of those people but in time it's kind of grown on me and it's grown on me because there are multiple ways you can actually do well on this map. So this is New Bay. As you can see, it's a quite a big map. It's based on the New York style. And we're spawning from the North Spawn here. It's in Supremacy, there are three bases. There's this base, which is base B. There's a base just over the other side of the park. That's base C. And down in the dip, right under the bridge is base A. Now a lot of people misunderstand this map. It looks big, it looks massive. It's actually not. And it's not big and massive because there are so many buildings and it's actually quite a contained map. So what should you be looking to do when you're playing this map? Well if you're spawning from this side there is multiple choices that you've got. You could, in theory, go to the B cap pretty easy to get to, pretty straightforward, and it's down in a little dip, so it gives you a little bit of protection, and there's no harm in doing that. Do not push over into the C cap. I see a lot of people doing this, and it's a big, big mistake. Why? Because you get crossfire from those positions there, and the other side have got better defensive positions in the park. If you want to take B, come out, and then come back around to these positions here. Don't stay there. It's a death trap come out and come back round to those positions there. You should also be sending your tanks up these ramps in either encounter or supremacy. Why, I hear you ask? Well, a couple of reasons. Firstly, if the other side is sending their tanks up the ramps, you've got some haul down positioning on the ramps themselves. Not only that, you've got clear fire view once you're on the ramps down this heavy route which is ideal because anything crossing into that B cap area you are going to be able to smack with impunity. You can even come down a little bit from the ramps and you can get crossfires down the other line but I would recommend you don't do that, you bring your tanks in from this side. As I said if you take B, come round with your heavies and then you can get cross shots across here which is a lot safer than being actually in the B cap funnily enough. If you're coming from the other side, it's a little bit different. This side actually, I find, is a bit more favorable. Why? Well, a couple of things. Firstly, getting into the C cap is pretty straightforward, just like the B cap. It takes you a little bit longer, but it is pretty straightforward. Then you can actually put pressure on that B cap because you've got lots of bumps and dips and undulations that you don't have on the B cap side. Try not to come down to this corner because that's just silly and you're wide open. Stay in the park if necessary. Also, from here, you're not going to get the cross shots from the ramps onto you, but you will be able to poke and put cross shots across. Alternatively, you can bring your TD, if you're in a TD, or even your heavy, to here. Now you've got cross shots down the two lines, as you can see, straight down towards where the B cap is if they cross. Not only that, if they come down the other heavy route, you've got shots down there. You can also sit on this corner and put shots and pressure onto the ramp area. Not a bad position, to be perfectly honest with you. Now, as I said, a lot of people misunderstand this map, and they like to brawl around the B-cap area. You've got to try and avoid that and use these side streets where necessary to position your tanks and put pressure on the enemy. Anyway, let's show you a couple of games Two different games, two different types of positioning, and two different ways to play it. And we'll see what I'm trying to say with the overview. So let's go back to the game we opened with, me and the tier 9 Yo. And as you can see, we spawned from the south spawn, and we're going to go into the C cap. And we're going to use the, the walls and the terrain to offer us some protection. We're then going to push into the park area. Why? Well, we're a super heavy, number one. Well, we're not a super heavy, but we're a heavy, and we've got a pretty good low down capability. And as you can see, we're bottom tier in this game. So I'm going to push slightly around and try and put some pressure onto this FV. He gets a really good shot in, but I get a nice shot back into him. 
Now, when I said to you earlier, don't stay in that dip, it's a death trap, they've got four tanks now in that dip. I've been hit for one shot, but I've put two shots in. Now, the Crown Dragon has done a good move here, but now, instead of using the terrain, like the skip, to hide behind, he's just sat in the open. That allows me to use the terrain to hide my lower plate, and I'm just going to pile a lot of pressure onto this Crown Dragon. He is sat in a really bad position. He is not hauled down. He is out in the open, and I can just pile pain into him with impunity, and I do. And as you can see, you know, he's not long for this game now. He's trying to back away, but he's, he's, he's under pressure. And as soon as I load, and it, admittedly it takes 25 seconds, I could have finished him off. But I'm in a tier 9 yo, and it takes a long time to load. Now we're going to push through. I'm not going to bother with the B-cap, as I said. I'm going to use these side streets, and I'm going to move down this way towards the ramps, because I can see that the crown wagon's there, but there's also... Um, the other tanks are now gone. They've already lost three tanks. I'm gonna, the crown wagon goes. They've already lost three tanks. Now it's three against six. They're in a world of pain. They're still in the B cap area. Get a shot into there, yo. Now the ST comes around the corner. Oh, it's just a bad miss. Get another shot into the yo, but RNG says, no, ain't gonna happen. I've got to back away again. And as you can see, they're all contained in that B cap area. And um, this is what I'm telling you guys, it is a death trap. If you're going to take the B cap, take it and then get out of dodge. Because if you don't, you are placing yourself at a massive disadvantage. So that's from that spawn and how we played that route. Let's have a look at a different methodology. So this time we're rolling out in the Scorpion G. We spawned from the same position, but we're not going to take the same motivational routes. We're going to go different. Now, I've already seen their lineup, so I think maybe something will come on the ramps, but most of them are going to come through the B cap. So I'm going to sit on this ridge right here. Now, this ridge offers me some hull down protection and it keeps me out of sight. I can see my tanks are pushing through, and as you can see, here they come over the top, right into the open. I'm allowed to smack them with impunity. And this is the thing that guy is now. And he's in a haul down tank and he's wide open and he hasn't got an open house chance of getting through that without losing if not all his hit points virtually all of his hit points now we've got there he goes now we've got a vk moving through i'm going to put one into him as well and i've already done 1300 damage and i've not really moved okay i've now been spotted because i think yeah something spotted me somewhere but i'm just going to sit here but i'm worried about being spotted so now i'm going to move my position and I'm going to try and cut off their exit. Uh, but I'm not going to do it the traditional way. I'm not going to go hurtling around there. I'm going to go and use the side streets, as I said. There's their Scorpion G. So I'm going to load HE. He's doing the right thing, actually. He's pushing down, but he's now back to me so I can put in a nice high roll on the HE. We're two tanks down. So our team is pushing when they don't really need to push. We're at 1900 damage now. Load the Scorpion G, he's coming around the corner. He's gonna get one into me, but not before I wipe him out. And there we go. But we're still, well, we're even Stevens now. We've got the C cap, they've got the B cap. And again, they have stayed in the area of the B cap. It is a big mistake, guys. It may feel like you've got some protection with that B cap. You just haven't. You're in a hole and you know you can be flanked from both sides and the other team has got much better defensive positioning than you think and we're just it's like a turkey shoot admittedly one of their tanks is afk which doesn't help them especially when it's one of um one of their heavies in fact i think it's one of their tier 9 heavies in fact it is one of their tier 9 heavies he's afk it, it that that's no good for them and um, they really needed him in that battle because he's a haul down heavy. And there he is there, unfortunately for him. But this is what I'm trying to explain to you. Even with their tank down, he wouldn't have made an ounce of difference. We've still got five. So even with their tank, they wouldn't have had an open house chance. And this is what I feel people miss the point on this map. If you're gonna go to that B cap area, firstly, don't sit there and stay there. And secondly, don't push across into the park 
unless of course you've got the tank advantage and you're only going to find that out if you have mediums and lights that have spotted most of the team anyway i've been fujit that has been my brief overlook on new bay by all means comment and everything below let me know your thoughts on that map and until the next time guys stay safe out there have fun on the battlefield and happy tanking because that is what it's all about having fun and being happy